The video everyone is talking about, a passenger forcibly removed from his plane seat when he refused to give it up. The CEO of United Airlines apologizing today, but it's a situation that's raised outrage and questions. Consumer reporter Marilyn Moritz with a look at your rights. This is the cell phone video traveling the world. A United Airlines passenger dragged from his seat, causing an uproar of public opinion. I thought it was quite disrespectful, but the way they went about the whole situation was just awful. That video highlights just how limited passenger rights are. A lot of people have questioned, can an airline actually bump you off of your flight? The short answer is yes, and it's written here in the fine print, 45 pages of the contract of carriage. Overbooking is allowed to account for no-shows. The airlines are required to ask for volunteers first to give up their seat. Yeah. You've given up your seat voluntarily? Yes. <laughs> and you got the most out of it that you could? Got yes. a free trip to New York City. <laughs> no takers, the airlines choose, often by cheapest fare, who boarded last, but not breaking up families. As a paying passenger, personally, I think it's, it's not right. If you, you pay your ticket expecting to get a seat. If you are bumped involuntarily, in most cases, the airline has to rebook you in a timely manner or pay you. And often both. On domestic flights, if the airline rebooks you to land one to two hours later than your original arrival time, the airline has to cover your ticket and pay you double your one-way fare, up to $675. If that delay is more than two hours or the airline makes no arrangements, you are due four times your one-way fare, up to $1,350. That's cash, if you prefer. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News. United also clarifying today that the flight technically was not overbooked, but that the seats were needed for must-fly crew who were necessary for another flight elsewhere.